hello and welcome back so today we are going to be wrapping up uh, this design so far and also creating some screens for presentation okay uh, but in the latter class at, on the, during the advanced UI class we'll take a look at a better way to create presentation and also to present our case study but the first thing we want to do first before we can start shipping this uh, design is to probably check for accessibility okay so it's always uh, very important for you to check the accessibility of your design so that you are sure that okay everything is legible okay so when it comes to legibility the most important ones are things like buttons things like form field and screens where you have you know actions or very important information on the app so you want to make sure you check your accessibility and for that, we are going to be using a plugin to do this. So let me go to a plugin. And once you're on plugin, okay, you want to proceed to plugin. Okay, let me click that again. Uh, plugin. And you want to look for A11Y color contrast checker. Okay, so make sure you click on that particular one. Uh, A11Y color contrast checker or if you go to manage plugin you can just type in accessibility okay so let's go to manage plugin and if you go ahead and type in accessibility there so once you type in accessibility right here you see a lot of tools for accessibility you just make sure you click on this particular one that says uh, A11Y color contrast checker okay so let me go ahead and run this particular one I already have it installed so it's running okay so what you want to do is to start checking these colors against the background the first thing is this particular screen let's take a look at this our sign up screen right here okay let me click on it and I want to go ahead and click on check so once you are checking for accessibility basically you want to make sure you get at least AA okay you have this AA and this triple A so make sure you are at least on the double A score okay so if you check here you can see we have a lot of issues with the color especially I think it's the color that we use for the the the, the label okay no sorry not for the label I think the color we used for the placeholder you know this color that way we have enter full name so basically uh, these are some of the issues it has detected you can see one two three four and that is basically one two three four so aside this there are no other um, uh, issues so we are going to adjust it so the good thing about this plugin is it provides you uh, a way to also adjust the color here so let me just go ahead and try that let's see adjust that color uh, so you are targeting AA, okay? So you keep adjusting the color. You can see right now we have AA. That means this color is very, very okay for what we're trying to get. So what you want to do now is to copy this color, okay? So let me go ahead and pick out this color, okay? So this color now, uh, we're going to change it. We're going to change it. That's this particular color, okay? Copy it. Uh, remember, we created uh, a text property for this okay we created like a component for this so let me go back to where that component is and this is the component right here it is this component okay so let me add this this particular one let me remove that color there and then let's go ahead and paste in the new color and click on enter so it's going to use this color so anywhere we have those um, placeholders now they should be able to change to this new one okay so let's go ahead and uh, take them, check a look at them. And for some weird reasons, these ones are not changing. I think we manually impute this one, which is wrong. So let me just go ahead and change your color to that. But those ones that are already linked, they have changed. Just like you can see this enter password. Let's go ahead and paste that color that is suggested. So, okay, so far, let's go ahead and click on done. And let me check other pages. Let me just be sure that it's there. Okay, you can see uh, all these ones have updated. They've all updated. Okay, so let's go ahead and test that uh, screen again. So I select the screen and I want to go ahead and click check. So at least now we should have the double A, double A. Okay, perfect. So, okay, great. So this particular page, we've passed the accessibility test, which is okay. So that's what you want to go ahead and try and create on, uh, redo on some of the pages. So let me check some of the very important pages. Okay, let's come in here. Now I'm pretty sure we might have accessibility issue with this particular color, but let's go ahead and check it, click on it, and let's click on check. 
Okay, we have double A, double A, double A. Okay, great. So we passed the contrast checker for this one, which is surprisingly okay, good. Uh, let me check this particular screen now. So let's go to dashboard. Okay, dashboard, you want to go ahead and check. And on dashboard, let's see. Okay, we have some text there, and which is basically this gray that we used. Okay, this gray that we used here. So it's uh is thinking we should adjust it okay so let's go ahead and ask and see what we can do so let's reduce the so basically you have background and lightness background lightness and text lightness so these are the two things you are looking for okay so most of the time what you want to adjust is your text color or your background lightness uh, most about i prefer using the text lightness especially when it's on white background okay so let's go ahead and make this let's okay so we are in the aa section right now so this is the color that is suggesting that we use okay so let me copy that color and let's go back so later on you can actually select all these colors and add them to your color style okay so in the advanced section we'll take a look at how to manage all these things so i'm coming back in here okay in here and i'm changing these colors where it says neutral 200 or let's just go ahead and you know edit that neutral 200 so let's go to neutral let's go to color and edit uh primary neutral neutral 200 although this would have been good for background so let's add this because these are for text okay let's just change this ones sorry oops so we have neutral 200 on that particular one that's this neutral Okay, neutral 700, sorry. So that's what we're using. Uh, I want to go ahead and, you know, paste in the new color there. So I just want to unlink it. And yes, paste in the new color is suggested right there. Okay, good. So with this done, let's go back and check. I'm sure it should update by now. Okay, let's go back and check it. That should be on the dashboard. okay uh what's happening to this other guys this one should have changed okay what did we use here what is this okay let's just paste it in there so let's select this i think some of these things we typed them manually uh that's why it's not changing so whenever you're using style be careful okay so paste in some of these colors here so let's go ahead and run it again let's go ahead and run it again and let's run it again so okay good so remember we are targeting double a double a double a so we are good to go here and let's take a look at this page especially for this uh, message here this message is actually very important let's click on done and select this and click on check so you can see we didn't meet up with the double a right here so and it's showing you the one that have issue which is this green one now i already knew we are going to have issues with this particular one okay so when you are trying to create uh, buttons like this especially with things like um, inactive buttons or maybe this type of effect there is a technique you can use to create this because if you look at this uh, we used two colors which is the light one and the dark one so that is why the accessibility is suffering so if you try using uh decreasing this the lightness if you try increasing it you know you can see it's still not giving us a and it's just not working okay and if you try reducing this you can see it's no longer green it's kind of like uh red now okay so what you want to do when it comes to this type of colors where you have the same color but different shades what you want to do instead is select this successful green let's go and make it our primary green okay that's for success primary green so if it is also um a button an inactive button you choose your gray right so let's go ahead and choose that one and we want to also come to this background this background we want to also choose a primary green but here is the thing uh yeah you definitely can't see anything but here is how to fix this uh let me unlink this so we've not actually had any transparent style so you can always create transparent color styles later on what you want to do is to come to the background okay on the background you want to reduce the fill opacity okay so the trick is to use opacity you want to use the reduce the fill opacity to like 25 percent okay now select the main one now and 500 you can 
leave it or just make it 75 percent so at least we still have 100 percent and it's still giving us the kind of effect we want okay uh you can make it 80 percent that's the text okay the text let's see 100 the text come to the layer layer sorry you want to go to the layer and type in let's use 80 percent okay now for the background you are not using the layer if you come to the background you want to use the fill and make it 25 percent if you use the layer let's say i put in layer here because it's the same thing you can see everything goes away so you don't want to use the layer instead you want to use the fill and for the text you want to use the layer okay so this is how you achieve things like this so let me select this transaction screen now let me click on done and let's check it again amazing so we even have triple a using this technique okay you can see that screen is uh, great so it's passed the accessibility check no need to check all these ones because they are basically you know the same thing that we've already done it's with using the same input the last screen we probably want to check is this particular screen so let's select this screen let's select this screen okay this one's have updated that's great let's select this screen and let's check to make sure we are at okay great we have double a which is great uh so don't target for triple a if it is triple a that's fine but double a is perfect okay so okay let's take a look at this password reset as well select this password reset and you want to check and i'm sure we're going to have the same issue we have okay great you can see it right there this inactive button you can see every other thing past the double a check except for this particular one so we are going to repeat the same thing here so let's select this remember uh you want to go ahead and use let's go to neutral 900 okay and let's also select the text and also make it neutral 900 okay but here's the trick again let's deactivate this color let's unlink it so that we can make it transparent okay so for this now for this we want to come to the layer and let's use 80 percent and for this parent one let's deactivate it as well so that we can come to fill now and go to the fill and go to somewhere around 25 percent okay so we can actually use this now for our inactive you can see the same color but we are using the transparency so that it can actually be seen the white background under it okay so let's select it again and let's run through the test again and i think that should be solved now okay we have this double a double a double a okay uh, where is this one coming from let me see okay it's actually from you can hit reset it's actually from this particular one so i'm not sure it's seen it's seen this against the gray background so i'm not sure it's seen it against the blue background so it's fine no need for this particular one okay so anytime you adjust and you want to reset it you just hit on reset so with this we are actually done with uh, checking for accessibility okay so the colors are okay now so you can go ahead and after testing these colors so sometimes you want to text test your colors before creating your style by putting text on top okay there are also websites which we'll look at in the advanced ui section there are also websites where anytime you're creating your color you can put in your colors there to test them to make sure they pass the accessibility scores okay and also uh, on the portal one of in one of the lessons i think those websites were shared so it's always very important to look out for those uh, portal okay those uh, websites that was shared in the portal so i think this particular one i want to even go lower with this change password it's too harsh um okay i guess you can see i didn't actually change much here so let me select this let's go with 75 okay it's better now so let's still run the accessibility check and let's see if we have okay so it's double a that is that is fine okay um so we are good to go uh next let me just click on done because we've selected everything and checked most of the screen and everything is good to go okay so the next thing you want to do now is to select some of these screens so we want to go into presentation now you want to select some of these screens and export them okay so how do you select so we are just going to select the sign in uh, let's select the sign up let's select hold and shift select the sign in okay hold and shift select the sign in uh, i don't want that you can also select this uh, first one the splash screen okay uh, i'm not sure if we're going to use it because we don't have an onboarding screen uh, let's select dashboard 
the new dashboard when it's active then let's also click on transaction okay and let's you know pick add money here okay let's pick this one with the card details on so we have more contest okay i'm just holding down shift and selecting for utility payments let's hold down shift select this first screen and buy airtime hold down shift select buy airtime right there send money for send money let's go ahead and select this one with the bank account you just want to select just to show some of the information let's select manage card remember i'm holding down shift to make this multiple selection and for this profile change nothing much there uh, for transaction summary yes and also all transaction yes we need those screens so what you want to do now is to go ahead and click on export 13 layers and make sure you choose uh, png you can set this back to 1x if it's on 2x or 3x set it to 1x sometimes you want to export in 2x we'll take a look at 2x and 3x in the advanced ui class okay for now just export to 1x okay then you can export your layers and create a folder for it and it will export directly to your system i have already exported mine so we are going to jump straight to the presentation